There are 23 collectibles in Taiga. This is the eighth chapter of the game. There are 18 diary pages and five postcards. So let's just go ahead and jump right into this, starting with our first postcard right at the very beginning. That is where you get your crossbow. Once you've gotten it, turn to the right and run into the smaller of the two houses that are in this section. We need to use our lighter to get rid of the cobwebs to reveal the location of the postcard. So go ahead and grab that. Now, our first diary of this chapter is going to be kind of in this section. As you leave, we need to turn around to the back side of the gate. So you leave by going out this way. Here's the gate. And if we turn around as we're exiting, we're going to see a bolt here, crossbow bolt, will appear with the note attached to it. So we're going to pick that up, and that is our first entry of this chapter. So we're going to head over to the children's camp area, and there's actually going to be a few things that we're going to get down here. So we're going to head towards the entrance. There's the big statue. If you knock that down, there's a trophy for it. Check my channel. I do have a trophy guide for that. As we enter the children's camp, first building here on the right, if we go inside of it, we're going to find a letter right in front of us. So from that location, let's go find postcard number 16. And what we're going to do is head towards this bridge, but don't cross it. Instead, we're going to take an alternate path and kind of loop around and back into this bigger house that's here. And once you're inside it, you're going to see a bookcase right in front of us, and it'll be right on the side of it. So go ahead and pick that up. So our next diary page from this location, we're going to head off to the little kid's note. If I can leave this building, here we go. So I'm going to head back towards that stone bridge that I took a detour and looped around to get to this house. I'm going to get back to it and then cross it. And we're going to find a house that's going to be on the right hand side. It's kind of a green house, not a green house, but a house that's green. Go inside of here, turn to the right inside of this room. Now there's also going to be one more entry here in this area. And that is going to be at the point where you need a zip line across the water to get to the next section. So if we leave that house, we were just in the greenhouse, turn right. And you're going to see a big, taller uh, brick building right in front of us. And we need to wind our way all the way up to the top in order to access the zip line. But before you do that, of course, you're going to grab the collectible. You have to take this little rope ladder. And then find the spiraling staircase. And again, it's going to be right at the zip line point. So it is part of the story path. All right, so now take the zip line down into the next area. As you can see, there's a road going through this area. We are going to look for a house that's going to be lit up because it's dark for me. On the left side of this road, it's a tree house or a house that's in the trees. So you see it right there. We're going to find another ladder we can climb up. There are going to be a couple collectibles in this area. Uh, two in this immediate section, and then two just a little further away. So once you've climbed up inside of it, you'll see it right down there. Now from this location, we're actually going to zip line over to a, a little camp someone made. Unfortunately for this gentleman, we have to get our diary, so I'm going to have to kill him. And we're going to take the zip line down. So it'll be right where you find the enemy. So inside of his little shack here. He's already dead. I was already here earlier, but there is the diary entry. So go ahead and take that. Now, if you look at the map here, we're on the right side of that road, opposite from where we were, where the tree house was. And you just go up the road a little bit further on the right hand side, almost along the water here, there's going to be a little cabin. We are going to go inside of there and pick up this lost diary. Once you pick that up, now head down the path and you eventually have to climb up a, a ladder up some rocks and you'll see that here in just a second you can see where the flames are the light sources well if you look to the left of there and you can see one of those green glows uh, there's a cave here if you go inside of this cave take it to the end you'll find the notebook careful leaving here because you're gonna get ambushed just spoilers 
All right, so now we're going to climb up those rocks. We are at that next section now. And this is kind of the start of a, a bigger camp. And there's going to be a few outposts that you're going to see up in the trees. There's going to be a series of those that leads into the main camp area. So you see the outpost above us there. What we're looking for is a lone house out to the left-hand side. It's all dark, kind of hidden. And we're going to pick up that diary entry. Now I'm going to head into that, the main camp of this uh, surrounding area. There's two ways in which you can get into it. You can go in through the main entrance. I chose the second alternate way, going through the cave. Going through the cave, you can also sleep and change the time of day if you'd like. So in the center of this main area, there's going to be a house here on the right. And we're going to go inside of there and get the scribbled note. A lot of other uh, buildings in that area, but unfortunately no more collectibles. So we are now going to move on. Uh, we've zip lined down into this canyon area. We can go straight up or we can go through a tunnel here. So we're going to go through the tunnel. Careful of snakes. Inside of this tunnel is going to be the diary. And there's actually going to be a second collectible in the tunnel as well. So just continue the... Uh, forward this will take you into another camp ultimately before you get there there's going to be this diary page it's going to be next to a body on the ground and then you're going to want to continue through to the opposite end of this climb up into the next section because that is where the uh, following collectible will be all right so you make it through that tunnel you're going to pop up and you're going to be in an area with like about six houses or so Kind of in a circle look for this one that's got a whole bunch of green vegetation kind of growing all on the outside of it if you go inside of here we're going to find postcard number 17. now from here you really kind of have to go to the church but before we do that we're going to take a detour there's a path that goes down towards the water so from that little town we're going to head towards the water directly east and then down and then follow this all the way straight back we're going to find another dead body on a table is going to be the diary, the dirty diary. In fact, All right, so now we are going to head over towards the church. There's a camp just west of the church. You can see it's right there. You see the fire glowing at the front entrance, the front gate of this church There's going to be a body right in front of it on the ground. Next to that body is a diary. It's kind of hard to see, but it is there. That is one I actually missed my first couple times through here. Now we have a weather note. It's another diary entry. Once you've done the whole church section, you're going to come down. We're going to head kind of towards the pirate area. There's this little gazebo here that does have a zip line going down, which you can take or choose not to. doesn't matter, but there is a note right there. So now we're going to head into the kind of the water section here. Now this is where you need to get the little boat and you need to pull a lever to open a gate so the little boat can get through it. This is actually going to be in the same building where you pull that lever, which is up on the second floor, but the diary is going to be here on the first floor. All right. Postcard number 18. We're getting down to the final few here. Now this is a section where you have to go turn on the generator and then you can take this elevator up to here. This is story path related, so you'll recognize it easily. Uh, in the next area, in the next room, there's going to be a strange old man. Uh, he wants to have a tea party with him and do it because there's a trophy for that. But on the wall, there's actually a bunch of pictures. One of them is the postcard. It's well hidden within that set of pictures there. So blood-soaked letter is going to be when you're in the underground. Uh, there's a bunch of spiders. It's very dark. You need to find gas. Turn on that generator and then head up these stairs over here to a big door that we're going to open. That's why we turned on the generator. You can get gas from right up here as well and then take it back, turn on the generator. Then you're going to hit this switch. This is again, story path related. Don't worry. As soon as the door opens, you're going to find the blood, blood soaked letter in front of you. It's going to be uh, next to this body in the ground in front of us. So from here, we're going to go to the very final section of this chapter, and you're going to meet uh, another companion. He's going to guide you to ultimately to the end point where you're going to have a little encounter, a big encounter, in fact. You're going to come down this hill, and there's houses on the left and then the right. 
On the right hand side in the approximately in the middle house is going to be two collectibles. Make sure you get these before you proceed towards the end of this path. And I don't know why I'm deciding to go through the, the bushes, but I am. I'll eventually get in there. There are, again, two collectibles. A diary here in this first room. We're going to pick this up. We are then going to go into the next room, and there's going to be another postcard on the wall. It'll be the final collectible of this chapter. Again, this chapter is called Taiga. And that is all 23. I don't know why I turned on and off my flashlight. But there you go. I hope that you found this video helpful. It would mean a whole lot to me if you can hit that like button. And if you're a trophy hunter, subscribe.